what's the balance between how much can you sacrifice to win and is it worth it really? Cricket uh, is a, a game where you have a lot of time to yourself and uh, isolation is probably like the breeding ground for just to create, you know, self-doubt and overthinking all these kind of things. We worked so hard and we, we did everything we can to get to number one and then when we got to number one it so, sort of fell apart a little bit. I think you're always going to have to hard train or hard compete with other people because there's always going to be somebody willing to train more than you or train harder than you. The message I took away is that to achieve great things takes huge sacrifice but that sacrifice comes at a cost as well and it comes at a cost to you and your family. Success at all costs is never worth it actually. Do you know what I mean? I think, we, I think even from this time that team was it's only 10 years ago feels slightly archaic you know that this the pressure they were put under the toughest thing about playing test cricket is the psychological trauma you've only got to take your eye off the ball for a split second and the first chip happens we weren't aware of what your teammates are going through i did isolate myself crying in a dressing room Everything just seemed to come tumbling down. It became a life or death situation. Do you think you had to be under that amount of pressure in order to be winners? Well, I think you're always going to be under pressure in international sport. I think you're always going to have to hard train or hard compete with other people because there's always going to be something, somebody willing to train more than you or train harder than you um, and, and try to be better than you. So you need to push yourself. Um, with, come, with that comes you know, the balance of, of um, being a professional cricketer and being a, as the normal person as well. So that's the importance and, and being able to get that right is the key. Do you know what? It was a real insight into you guys as a team, but also the other side of cricket that we didn't get to see, which was the stressful times. Um, when you think back at that time, because I've watched this film very recently, you talk about you would go back to your hotel room and you would look forward to ordering room service as your escape. Can you remember those moments? Yeah, yeah, I do remember those moments. You know, you have these kind of like... Cricket is a, it's a, it's a game where... You have a lot of time to yourself and uh, isolation is probably like the breeding ground for just to create, you know, self-doubt and overthinking all these kind of things. But that period, I thought, was probably the best ever England team we produced in Test cricket. You were probably one of the first people we saw of colour in the England team. Now, like the recent win, there's a lot more diversity, but... For you to be at that point, one of the first, um, was pretty epic and also I would think quite difficult at times. Yeah, I was the first to, you know, to play for England and uh, I think that opened the door for South Asian communities uh, to play more cricket uh, at professional level and I think it opened doors for likes of Moen Ali, Adil Rashid, uh, Ravi Bapara, Sami Patel to believe that, well, Monty, you know, he's a, someone of South Asian community can play, so can we. and. It's, it's been brilliant to how um, during the celebration we had when they did the champagne moment, both Adol Rashid and Moen Ali were running away from the alcohol. And, and that's the celebration of this England cricket team, isn't it? That was a beautiful moment and it just showed how we uh, embrace uh, diversity in this country. When you play international sport, it's, um, you know, a lot of people you know, focus on the winning, but there's a lot of other sides to it as well. And uh, Test match cricket in particular, you play over five days, there's a lot of emotions, you can have a bad, bad day on you know, first day and you have to still turn up on day two, three and four. So emotionally, it's, uh, it's a particularly hard sport. Uh, and hopefully Barney and the guys have got that, that across to everyone. Um, they did a great job. Um, the new team right now, they've just won. You know what that feels like. This is a time when you're so excited, you're loving life, but a lot of attention, a lot of pressure. Any advice you can give because you've been there? Yeah, I think that that's a part of our journey that we had. I mean, we worked so hard and we, we did everything we can to get to number one. And then when we got to number one, it sort, sort of fell apart a little bit. But I think that's the thing for these guys now is you've worked so hard. You do all the extra things you need to, to get to number one. Now you've got to keep doing the same things even when you get to number one. And I think um, hopefully this group of guys will be able to do that. I had a lot of preconceptions about this England team having watched them then being like parallel and peripheries in my life for a long time. So when I actually saw how willing to be exposed and vulnerable, especially for a bunch of alpha men, Absolutely. they were prepared to be, 
I thought it was worth the music matching it. So that's what my job was really. You did a great job. I cried loads of times. Did you? And I learned so much. Did you really? Was, yeah, of course, it was so much. And they haven't seen it, most of them. And I'm really worried for them because they're all like telling me about celebrations. And I don't think they realize how much of the other stuff is in there as well. The balance of doing the music for something like this, but also knowing that they're kind of nation's favorites. You know, did you feel a lot of pressure on like, God, I've got, I've got to really like get this right? I felt like I wanted to do it justice, yeah. but as you know, it's such it, it's so emotive anyway that a lot of that does its job anyway. So you're just sort of implying, feeling underneath it. Um, so that was a new discipline for me, turning itself. And it's just it's not even about cricket; it's about people doing something together and the collateral damage of trying to make your whole life wrapped in that one identity. And that's something we can all relate to, really. I'm wondering, Felix, because you've watched it and you're a big cricket fan, has it made you watch it differently now? I know we've got a winning team, but now... What, what the game, cricket? Yeah, 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 absolutely, man. I mean, I think I, think I because I've known cricketers and done stuff in cricket before, so I think I kind of understood it a little bit, but what I think it will do is that people that haven't necessarily, or this tag of cricket's boring or whatever, I think you'll understand it in a totally different way. And I did the drummer in the Maccabees, Sam, who has no interest at all in cricket. In fact, he's actually trying not to watch it for 10 years. He's been doing this film with me, and by the end of it, he's suddenly like really invested in the England team and all these characters. So I think that's what it does beautifully. And the final thing I want to ask you is this: um, we've been having this debate after watching it. Does the stress and the pressure that the guys are put under warrant the fact that they won at the end of it, or do you think it could have been done differently? I spoke to Andy Flower, the coach, who's brilliant and speaks so eloquently in this film about it and articulately, and I think yeah, it could have been done differently, and I think. Um, success at all costs is never worth it actually do you know what I mean yeah. I think we I think even from this time that team was it's only 10 years ago feels slightly archaic you know but this the pressure they were put under and I think as, as specifically as men as well I think and that kind of alpha attitude we feel differently about how people should be treated and how you know we should speak about things high five thank you, high thank five. you so much for being so very honest so very vulnerable and sharing all this with us was it a difficult decision I don't think it was a difficult decision. I think it, uh, actually what what happened was when we started talking about what happened, um, that sort of vulnerability came across naturally because I think we're all in a stage of our lives now where we're quite happy to be open and honest about what went on. Whereas when you're playing, you're a little bit more guarded, aren't you? You don't want to you don't want to say actually I was really struggling or that was difficult or. Um, you know, I, I found it very hard when that happened. So I, I just thought it was a very honest portrayal of what it's actually like to play cricket for England. And, you know, the, the, the message I took away is that to achieve great things takes huge sacrifice, but that sacrifice comes at a cost as well. And it comes at a cost to you and your family. And um, a lot of the time it's worthwhile, but it, it, it is, it's not without its cost, definitely. We look at the team now who have done incredible things, um, which is an amazing thing. Ben. You know, some of the words that the media have used, you know, it's like someone makes a mistake and then they have to do better in order for people to love them again. What advice would you give to him and the rest of those boys now? Because you've been there yeah. when everyone's on your ass because you guys are like the best. Yeah, I just think that um, when you're out the other side, you just kind of go, well, why did I worry so much about what people said about me and what they're saying in the media and whatever? When you're in the middle of it, it's, it's harder to have that attitude. But I think, you know, the benefit of experience is literally... It, external stuff it's not meant for you just just do your best and the people close to you will know what you've done and what you sacrificed and what you've gone through and try and please them and your teammates and be a decent person and then you're not going to go far wrong and final thing you and kp are mates again which is awesome um no but it feels really nice that like seeing all of you here today i know he's not here which is a bit disappointing what's it is it important to always kind of everybody to get along and like get past the crap you all go through yeah, I just think life's too short, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've had some pretty tough life experiences in the last six months or so with my, my wife dying, and you just realise the little things in life are little things, and um, there's no point in, in making them big things. So um, uh, the film shows that the vast majority of the time we shared an England shirt together were good, good times, and I'd prefer to remember the good times than the bad times. Forget what you think you know. Test cricket is a battle between time and the mind. I've got a problem with the way you practice, the amount you're drinking. Things needed to change, we needed a plan. The target to be the first England team to reach number one in the world. 
was it quite difficult for you to like balance the thing of the country love cricket and these heroes but I want to show this side of it as well I think it's a really good question um, definitely but that's like I wanted to make them human at the end of the day we all like aspire to these great sports people and kind of slate them when they do don't do well and all that kind of thing um, and I wanted to make these guys kind of more rounded individuals which I knew they were having worked with them so for me it was that was the journey like the up the down the kind of and hopefully reflection you know like reflecting on a time that was amazing so I think it will be an emotional for a lot of them um, Strauss to my right has seen it and he said he felt very emotional and I think it will af affect them but hopefully in a good way you know because it shows the whole journey it shows what it meant to play for England what it meant to them you know? making the film I'm wondering do you feel like as a fan of cricket too in hindsight there could have been a different way for them to, to, to still one um, I mean, that's, that's the ultimate question, isn't it? I mean, that, what, what's the balance between how much can you sacrifice to win and is it worth it, really? Can you be an elite sportsman and still, you know, just enjoy the ride? You know? I don't know the answer to that, but I do think that the current England team has shown that a more holistic approach is, can work. You know, um, I think their challenge now will be how they do after winning the World Cup. But I think certainly remembering that it's a team of people is the first step, you know, and, and they have families and friends and life is just as important as cricket. You know? How much would you give to be the best? Making a movie! Don't blink first.